easy being greedy, being broke is no joke If I could, I'd be the needy, stuff enough to buy soul I got a good job, but it doesn't pay the bills I got a roof over my head and a carpet with spills I sold all my furniture just to pay the rent Cause by the end of payday, all my money is spent Even when it all ends, it begins again What can you borrow from your friends? Well, that all depends, hey You gotta come see this, man. We gotta see this. We're gonna be rich, man. We're gonna be rich! Sean, what did you do now? Well, this guy left his truck running while I was at the store, and it was full of all this porn. So I thought, you know, finders keepers. Sean. So now we have all this porn in the garage. We can make, like, a million dollars. Did you hear me? One million dollars! Sean. Well, I was talking to this guy, and he said people pay a lot of cash for porn. Porn's like the number one best-selling commodity online. We got right after accident lawyers and boner pills. Sean. And we got a shitload, man. A shitload! Sean! What? You don't know what porn is, do you? Yes, I know it. It's the abbreviation for photography. Hey, what's going on, guys? Okay. Uh, I'm out of here. Sean, porn is short for pornography. You know... Naked people? Having sex? Movies? Pictures? Kind of lingus. Sean, you've got to be the dumbest. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I was just, you know, hoping you'd, you know, go into greater detail. I'm actually getting half a stock here. Oh, no, no. Keep going. I'm just storing stuff in the old spank bank. You don't have a shot in hell, dude. You fascist. You and Nikki both. You butt-plugging, feces-throwing fascists. Are you even aware of the definition of fascist? What the hell is that with... It's some kind of monkey. Hey! I'm not a fascist. You're the fascist. Well, that may be so, but it looks like you are off your leash. You know, when I told you to eat shit, I didn't think you'd take me literally. Must have missed that part while I was eating out your grandmother. <laughs> your mother huffed a bunch of paint while she was pregnant with you? What? Dragging a coon's name through the mud. That's not mud, Bubba. <sighs> okay. What did Sean do, and what are you doing to fix it? Sean stole a truckload of this shit. So I'm going to California to live out the rest of my days as Rotten Blumpkin, king of the rusty trombones. What does it look like I'm doing to fix it? Shit, sorry, Mr. Butthurt. You busy? Because it's a long drive, and I need someone to read the dirty letters to me. Tempting, tempting. But I prefer my porn to move, scream, and if at all possible, get at least three fingers up in there. It's not porn, but I will give you half. Hey, you can't put one and a half fingers up my... Well, wait. Half of what? I got a guy that'll pay four grand for the truck and the paintings. Shit, four grand? I'm there. Now, what was it you were saying about one and a half fingers in your... This is Bob Oldfart with a breaking news announcement. It seems the last of the giant scorpions, the beloved Miss Princess, has just arrived at the Grand Prairie Public Zoo and is continuing her venomous rampage on her new zookeepers. Johnny tries too hard his life at the scene, Johnny. Yes, yeah, so a truly remarkable scene here today, Bob. The giant scorpion's first visit to the Grand Prairie Zoo has left five dead, 15 injured, and thousands of dollars worth of damage in only a matter of minutes. Princess was just recently tranquilized and should be out for the better part of next week. Crews are currently working around the clock to mop up the blood and venom. So come on down to the Grand Prairie Zoo for a day of fun, adventure, and mayhem. For Channel 12 News, I'm Johnny Tries Too Hard. Dude, I just got an idea. Oh, I'm with you. Let's go get that scorpion high. No, let's... Wait, what? Uh, never mind. Your idea is better. I haven't even told you my idea. It's okay. I trust you, man.
the porn. Oh, Oz took it all. Ah! What the hell, man? I'm saying, how hard would it be to get some people to make some sweet love on camera? A little kiss kiss, a little bang bang, maybe an upside down Korean pelvic thrust or a badumkin here and there? Then we sell it and become porn giants. What the hell's a badumkin? See, it's like a blumpkin, but on a bidet instead of a toilet. Like badumkin donuts? I love it. One problem, though. Who do we know that wants to get a squishy badumpkin donut on camera? Leave that to me. Dude! Uh, what? Don't smoke that in here. Why? It's just a stolen truck. Are you afraid I'm gonna get a burn hole in your stolen truck? Well, I don't have stolen lungs, so kill yourself when you're not in my bubble. What are you talking about? You smoke. Yes, but not in a 6x2 compartment. It's hard for me to breathe. Asshole. <laughs> It's hard for me to breathe too when your tampon blood is all up in my nose. Tampon that, dick. So, uh, I put my gun in my son's mouth and said, Mind your mother and do the damn dishes. He's been a perfect little angel ever since. Yeah, I should try that with my boy. He keeps wetting the bed after I beat him. I bought it. Son of a bitch! Sean's stolen truck. Illegally trying to recruit porn actresses. Nice. And have sex with them. On camera. With Vaseline! It needed work. Yeah, it needed work. God, I hate you, Sean. What the hell, Benny? What did I do to you? It was your touch my penis sign that got us into all this. Asshole. I'll touch your penis. Sean, on delay. Dude, what's your hold up? Yeah, just like that. Oh, I'm right there! Why, well, thank you, sir. That was really nice of you. It's all good, man. I always carry some extra shoelaces. I'll touch your penis. What the hell were you thinking, Bruce? Stealing a truck full of porn? What's it mean, Sean? And you. Making a touch my penis sign? Little children could have seen that. Well, they did. And they could touch my penis, too. Oz, are you okay? What happened? Eh, I told the arresting officer where his mother was last night, and he seemed angry with the information, so he clubbed me in the gut. Jesus, lizard. You gonna be all right? Oh, yeah. Just a few bloody shits and some ginger ale, and I'll be good as new. I'll get you the ginger ale. And the toilet paper. Hey. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm much better. Thanks. Huh? Oh, yeah, of course. An hour? Okay, where? Okay, I'll be there. You people suck. See you later. Unfortunately. Later! Oh, I like screwing my dirty parts. Dirty parts. Dirty parts. Yeah, I like screwing my dirty parts. Once a month. Hey, what gives? Ah! Did the water go out on you too? Yeah, what the hell, bruh? Oh, oh, oh. What happened? Ah, rabies! Why is everybody in here? Okay, from now on, all the bills will be going through me. You got that? Got, got it. it. What the hell, bruh? Got it! Got, got it. it. I swear to God. I'm going to die from an aneurysm in my head called YOU FOX! So, what are you doing tonight? Thinking about exposing myself to kids? No, wait, what? 
Well, there's this presentation down at the library about adults being more emotionally honest to children. It's called Expose Yourself to Kids. Oh! Oh, you thought... No, 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 no. Although... Hey, hold and, and Oz, what are you doing tonight? I think I'm gonna chill at the house. Watch some giraffes gone wild. Good. That sounds nice. I think I'm gonna join you on that one. What are you doing, Bruce? Well, I was gonna hang out with this bitch. But I guess I'm down to expose myself to kids, too. That makes three. All right. Let's go. Who wants some cheese? Fine. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Eat some wood, beaver face. You'll feel better. <laughs> go smoke some catnip, you hippie douchebag. Ha! I'm not a goddamn cat! However... Aw. Is my little pussy cat butt hurt? Fuck off. Cats are crotch-licking, catnip-smoking douchebags. And you're a dumpster-diving, catnip-smoking raccoon. Well, you're a screw-anything-that-moves, pumping out a billion babies, jackrabbits. Jackrabbits are boys, asshole. The truth hurts, don't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> Some of that. All in your face. They aren't doing more to keep Christians and Satanists separated. They have them co-mangling at the office, forced to talk to them for gas, food. They even want me to put my beloved daughter in a public school. Okay, wait. First off, you people are fucking morons. And did I hear you correctly when you said there's only two kinds of people in this world? Why? Do you know of more? Ugh. Oh, God. Mm. Bruce, man, you don't look so good. You all right? Mm. You ought to be... How many fingers are you holding up? What? Give me that. What's wrong with you? Ugh, no, I was just thinking about a really big C word. Cantankerous. Coyotes. Cucamonga. Hey, guess what? You two are jackasses. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to the first annual meeting of Expose Yourself to Kids. We are here today to help our kids know the truth about the world around them. Not to idolize Santa Claus. but to fear global warming. <laughs> Not to grow up loving their humans, but to leave nature to be nature and kill the humans with clubs for food or sports. Like good Christian children should. Now we have a few people here that would like to tell you about their experiences with overcoming this demonized world we live in today. Here's Miss Phelps. Thank you, Mrs. Moon Tumbo. My son is 12 years old, going to Woodland Middle School. He is now a straight A student who behaves like an angel. But last year, he had a girlfriend. They were playing some kind of game that had them talking to people that weren't even there. <laughs> way out for him and damn it I was right God is the only way out for all you little children let my boy be the example come on out here sweetie hey I sold that kid drugs last week he did um I was a lost child a year ago I had no direction no job prospects I didn't even know what I wanted to do with my life. You're 12! But thanks to the love of my mother and my savior up above, I now know that I want to work for God. I want to do God's bidding. I want to serve him and feed him and clothe him and massage him. Oh God, I love men! <laughs> you people give me the creeps.
You love and you fear and you hate so much, don't you? Well, fear and hate my ass. I think what my inebriated friend was trying to say is... You put these kids on a pedestal. Like they're real people or something. Is that sometimes kids need things like jolly old Saint Nick to believe in. They need them to brighten their otherwise grim and dreary lives. And pet humans help them grow up to be better parents. Teach them about love, loss, partnership, and responsibility. And imaginary friends help them become creative and allow them to dream outside of a shithole town like this. And away from dumbasses like you people. Plus, don't you think it's a little hypocritical of God-fearing folk to judge others for imaginary friends? I mean, come on. For real. I mean, I like to expose myself to kids too. But they're usually 16 and you don't see me holding a fundraiser, now do you? Does anybody else think we should have rethought the name of this thing? I've never seen so many people turn on me so quickly. Where do you think they got all those pitchforks from? I'm sure they grow inbreds in their backyards. Why the hell are you two so jumpy? Why the hell is Sean choking that chicken? This son of a bitch just refuses to go down! Oz, don't avoid the subject. Come out of there, you dirty rat pestis! Holy shit, Sean, they followed us! Look what you made me do, you son of a bitch! You think I like this? You think I like this? Oh, this is all your fault! Sean! Sean! Dude, we gotta figure out a way out of this! Why did you make me do that, man? Why? I loved you. I loved you. Sean, you don't serve a purpose, do you? Bitch, I'm the goddamn comedy relief. Sorry, not interested. Ma'am, I am terribly sorry for any offense we may have caused. <laughs> oh! You and your friends will burn in hell! Anna was in the bathroom. Leave house alone! Why, thank you, kind sir. Oh, well, that's no problem. Anything to help a friend in need. Love your hair, by the way. Aw, thanks, hun. I didn't know how I was going to wear it today, but I knew I didn't want to have it up. I love that shade of pink on your hose. Nikki, shut up. Blow it out the side of your wood-munching ass. Anybody see where Sean went? That's disgusting. You know you should spank that in your room. This bastard still won't tell me what fascism is. What? Wait, wait, you want me to spank him in your room? Alright. Hey bitch, I know we just met. I can see in them jeans that ass be getting wet. 